Hey guys, what's up? I am back with the brand new video and it's time to do a PUBG test of the new Realme 8 and guys and this is a new mid-range phone from Realme which is costing around 40,000 PKI in Pakistan market and guys in this price range and this phone is powered by MediaTek Helio G95 with Mali G76 GPU as well and guys and this is a gaming processor as you can see and guys on the front we have a 6.4 inch Full HD Super AMOLED display with 60Hz refresh rate and also we have a 180Hz test sampling rate as well. On the front we also have a punch hole which is on the left hand side on the Realme 8 and this phone also has a 5000mAh battery size with a 30W super fast charging. On the back we have a 64MP AI quad cameras as you can see and this phone it is also very slim and light as well so in this video i'm going to show you how is the gaming performance of the realme 8 right now and the battery percentage it is at 67 percent and you can see and also in this phone also has a single speaker no dual speakers on the realme 8 on the realme 8 we also have a in display fingerprint scanner and you can see so without any wasting time now let's quickly launch the pubg mobile game on this phone and i also enable the game mode on this phone because in because in game mode we can also see the FPS as well and you can see and again we have single speaker no door speakers on the realme 8 i guess you can see that and the game it is on and you can see and the app's opening speed is also really fast on this phone game it is on guys first let me go to the settings now let's go to the graphics and you can see we have a smooth graphics with ultra frame rate maximum and you can see which is also available in the balanced graphics as well we also have hd graphics in hd graphics we have high frame rate we does not have any hdr as well as ultra hd so maximum we get 40 fps gameplay on the realme 8 even though this phone has a MediaTek Helio G95 chipset. So now let's play on smooth graphics with ultra frame rate and also I set the style on the colorful as well. And now let's play arena training. And guys now let's play. And you can also see the FPS as well. And this phone again has a 8 GP of RAM with 128 GP of internal storage which is a UFS 2.1. And the game it is on so now let's a little bit move around as you can see. And now let's see the FPS and you can see in the gameplay it is at 40. So now let's see the gyro first, enable the gyro and you can see and the gyro it is also really good on this phone and you can see no issue right now, very very smooth as well. And now let's see the fighting and you can see very very good as well. And the speaker quality I would say it is really good on this phone although we have a single speaker but the speaker quality it is really very really loud no issue right now let's see the FPS one more time and you can see again FPS it is at 40 so this phone give you a 40 FPS gameplay maximum I hope in the future we also see 60 fps option on this phone but right now we get 40 fps gameplay maximum option on this phone Now let's see the FPS one more time. Again, FPS it is at 40. So not really big issue right now. And the Realme 8 is performed really good right now. No lag, no issue right now. This phone give you a very solid 40 FPS gameplay in the arena training. Let's see that how is the Realme 8 is performed in the Sanok and match it is almost complete and you can see we are win 
as guys you can see that and uh, the Realme 8 is performed really good in the arena training no issue right now so now let's play in the Sanok map now let's see that how is the Realme 8 is performed in the Sanok map and guys and now let's play in the Sanok map now let's see that how is the Realme 8 is performed in the Sanok bootcamp and guys you can see that right now we are in the Sanok so now let's little bit move around and you can see so now let's see the FPS and you can see maximum we get a 40 FPS gameplay no FPS drop right now in the start so let's see that any FPS drop or not and you can see little bit FPS drop minimum we get a 37 FPS so now let's go boot camp let's see that how is the realme 8 is performed in the boot camp and guess you can see that right now we are in the boot camp so now let's see the fps again fps it is at 40 let's see any fps drop yes we see very big fps drop minimum we get a 33 fps and again fps drop and you can see and now the gameplay is at 40 so now let's go down you can see we have a lot of enemies let's see the FPS one more time again a little bit of stop and you can see minimum we get 33 FPS guys now let's see the FPS one more time Again, FPS is at 40, so no FPS drop after when we on the land. Let's hit the FPS one more time, and you can see again FPS is at 40. And right now, the gameplay is really, really stable. Yes, you can play in the Sunhawk as well but not 100% all the time at 40 fps as you can see that only in the start we see fps drop but after that the gameplay is very very stable And guess you can see that we are completely that you can see and guess you can see that and the realme 8 is performed really good in the pubg mobile game as you can see that in the arena training this phone is performed excellent no lag no fps drop while in the sanok we see a little bit fps drop but you can see that minimum we get 33 fps after that the gameplay is at 40 so you can see that overall after say regarding the performance of the realme 8 as you can see that and the performance of this phone it is really really good but i have to say that in this price range we also have a poco x3 pro which is a much much better phone as compared to the realme 8 in terms of the pubg mobile game and guys also overall i have to say regarding the heating wise regarding the heat device and this phone it is not really warm i have to say no overheating issue right now thank you so much for watching this pubg test of the realme 8 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will catch you in my next video peace out